Hello, it's your Max R Sexy, and I'm here with this interesting video here. Well, this different video. Now, this one guy who I watch often, then named the hat person. Well, his channel name is the Good Game Have Fun, but his uh, he goes by the name the Hat Person when in his videos. He made this video called the SK Waifu Quiz, which is where he took this quiz to see what the where you know you answer questions, and then it tells you who, who thinks your waifu should be based on your answers. And uh, he wound up with Minori, even though his, he considers his waifu from this game, Ikaraga. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> so he left the, qu the link to this quiz right here. And I guess I could do so in this video as well if you're going to do it as well. But as well as well. <laughs> Repeating your words there, Axon. So anyway, I'm going to try this now and see what happens. See what I get. Oh, and uh, you wonder what this is. This is how I make my thumbnails. <laughs> Nails there. <clears throat> there's for Lost Song and there's for <laughs> Estable Verses. Yep, uh, I use Google Slides. I take a picture. And I take a pic screenshot of my video, crop it, insert as a background here. <laughs> here, then screenshot this thing, cut it down to just this, and then that's my thumbnail. <laughs> you know, and this here is just uh, text, and there's the shape and whatnot. So, yeah, that's how I make those. All right, let's begin, shall we? What hairstyle do I like? Uh, be honest, in real life, I'm not the picky, but I've noticed a lot of it, it comes to fictional characters. It seems like a lot of the girls I like have shorter hair, it seems. But I like both these, to be honest, but really short. It depends on when you say really short. It's where you add the really line at. Because like in SK, like Yozakura, I don't consider her hair super short, but it is short. Right, but... Thing is, I will say in SK, there isn't a character in there who I consider having really short hair. So, um, I guess I'll go with short. So, what personality do I like in a girl? A girl barely talks to loves you, a girl who's mysterious and protective and a promise to leave, never leave you no matter what. Hmm. Well, here's the thing, though, about this one is, the fact that they'll leave you no matter what, they'll leave you, they'll never leave you no matter what is a good part, I guess, but the mysterious, and protect, the mysterious part is just like, you don't know this person, or they're just like a stalker or something, so I'm probably overthinking this. <clears throat> This, but yeah, full of energy, you know, no matter what. Now, the full of energy part is just like I feel like I'm the type of person I am. I feel like I'm a pretty low energy person at times. I am pretty lazy, but and I'm just like, when I want someone that could have just more energy than me and wants to do stuff, when I don't, would I would just sit down on my ass all day? Hey, that's what I'm thinking about right now, so I guess this. Favorite food. Hmm. So I think it's obvious why they put this option here <laughs> for old Yomi. And uh, I have not had a whole lot of Japanese food, to be honest. Unless there is some some Japanese meal I'm forgetting to mention. I haven't ate sushi before. I have had fish, but not sushi itself. Oh, um, I guess rice counts. I guess I don't know. Rice is pretty popular, uh, is a pretty common food around all of Asia, so I don't think it'd be right to restrict it to just Japan. Stew and soups I'm not big on, bean sprouts, I'm not really big on that stuff either. I don't really, I'm not a big salad person. So, um, I guess of this stuff I'd say, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> great. What a great thing to put on, my, put on me on the spot with. I have some friends in real life that probably think that we run like, Jesus Christ, Axon, or, or Kobe, that's my real name. What have you been doing lately? <laughs> uh, one of my friends, who, Carla Jen, who goes by that name, he'll probably get some kick out of this if he's listening to do this. So, um, uh, oh, I don't care as long as I can squeeze them. What? <laughs> um, whoops. Did I just hear a click? <laughs> what genre of songs do I like? And uh, pop, electronic, dubstep, kids, classical. Well, <laughs> the people always surprise. When people who first meet me, they always surprise when I tell them what music genre I like, and it's I actually like country. I listen to stuff from like Florida Georgia Line, Blake Shelton, to guys like John Denver, Georgia Jones, you know those guys, and Randy Travis. Do I like the fight? Hmm. I don't like to start them, but I'll definitely. F but if I have to finish them, I'd do it. <clears throat> I got like one fight back in fifth grade. 
debate, and uh, but no, well, physical fight anyway. I've been in a lot of several uh, verbal arguments before. That and I like to debate people. So I'm guessing in this case, since it's this case of this thing, it's asking me, do I want you know, I like to start physical fights? I'll say no. Would be my ideal date. Hmm. Well, just hanging out together can cover all this, to be honest. That's because you could just be at the theme park, and like it says, just be, well, we're just hanging out. Nothing else to that. <clears throat> What's important to me? Money, love, my life, nothing. Well, nothing. It's not like there's nothing. It's not like there isn't anything that's important to me. Like, I have different things that are important to me. It's just, a lot of things are important to me. It's just a lot of times I have a bad, I'm very bad at prioritizing things at times. And so, um, family, friends, money, love, my life. I'd probably say that. What is love to me? <laughs> okay, there's like these uh, shorter, less complicated answers, and this super long answer right here. Real love is like real love feels like chocolate tastes. If you happen to find chocolate delicious, hmm, I don't know. You feel loved when you know someone completely understands you, while knowing, while knowing, and accepting all your faults and virtues. Mm, I guess I can cover it. Um, is there another option down here? I hate this thing, the new thing with my Chrome because I have to wait for this tab and this scroll bar to show up here. Oh, here's the other one. Real love is caring so much about the other person they'd be they'd want nothing but for them to be happy. Hmm. <sighs> tough, qu tough answers. When two people can truly can be truly vulnerable with one another and be loved, loved for their weaknesses as well as their strengths. When two people are with team and face life challenges together, when two. You are willing to fight for their relationship, even if it seems too painful. When two people feel at home when they are together. God, I'm, I'm jumping between the top and bottom. Um, I'll just go with this one. How many questions are here? I don't remember how many it said there was. Oh, <laughs> what's my biggest fear? Theme parks I'm not afraid of, because otherwise I wouldn't go to them. Well, um... I don't know if you count fairs as theme parks, but eh. here I am sounding very stupid. <laughs> but then again, you see me doing stupid stuff all the time. So what the fuck? Um, snakes, they're actually my favorite animal. And that's strange because I'm like the only one in my of this house right now. I'm the only one in my family that likes snakes. Like I'll pick them up. I'll handle them. They'll musk on me and it smells like shit. I live around a, where I live. I live in a like, um, a pretty rural area, yeah, where there's a lot of forest and gr forest and blackberry vines and whatnot, gravel roads, <laughs> roads, and you can find a lot of gar snakes around here. Here and uh, yeah, I caught one bull snake and that was pretty cool. Spiders, I don't like it when they're crawling on me, but other than that, it's fascination from a distance. What you can call this? This is what I call hands-on fascination. Hen, um. My biggest fear is probably none of these. I just say other. Yomi. <laughs> That's a shocker. <laughs> well, I don't know. Let's go down here a bit. So this is my answers down here. These are for my answers down here, apparently. Uh, pff, words, vocabulary, language. I know it. <laughs> so apparently these are your answers. They match up with a girl would most likely fit them. Will most likely fit you. And it seems like it's tied between Yozakura and Yomi. Which is interesting, because, um... Mm. The question is, it's tied like this? How do they determine it? I mean, Yozakura, she actually is a number... She actually, on my list, she's higher up than Yomi. Yomi, Yomi's like in the... 10, around the... I'd probably guess right now around the 10 to 15 range. Well, Yozakura's like number 3, actually. Well, hold on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, number three. Okay, and then, apparently, Katsuragi seems to be getting a lot of, is the most common uh, result among this, which that's not surprising, actually. Yeah, and, okay. I'm reaching the free recording limit. So, anyway, oop. Um, I scrolled down here. But yeah, Hikage is my actual my, my one who I consider my waifu, and she's actually my number one waifu. And wow, she's that I have that few answers for her, and home run my number two is down there. <laughs> Only one answer with. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode. Like it if you did. 
Share your gaming account another. Subscribe to my gaming account and Coconut Versus content. I'm Mac 16 and I'm out. And my time is just about to expire.